So I'm right here. This is where I want to be. No way. Are we going to see a real wild saltwater crocodile, mate? <laughs> the mighty old river. Well, I've been playing close today. I'm actually working on my quad. Um, the weather's going to turn bad in the next few days. I was going to go out in a boat, but I'm going to mix this one up. I haven't used my quad for a couple of years. So I'm just going over it, making sure everything's good. Just put new coolant in, just flushed all that out. Uh, checked the oils and yeah, just getting everything ready. It's been probably about a year and a half since I've used my quad and even started it. So I just charged the battery up, but it started straight away. So that's a good sign. This is the little beast, all stripped apart. So I've just basically finished flushing the uh, radiator out right up through the engine water pump. And I've just checked the oils, just given a bit of a scrub and then I'll put it all back together. I won't do that out in the sun again. That was bloody hot. I just did it for the camera footage so you can see what was going on. But Blue Dog is back together. Beautiful. What I'll do now is actually go for a run and burp the radiator. You might be thinking, what the hell? Because I've trained the whole radiator, the water pump, the whole lot, the engine, I've got to burp it. So I've done it with the hoses. I felt as much as I can. I've started it, pressed the hoses. So I uh, had air in it. You could see it bubbling through the radiator with the cap off. I'll go for a run to see if it'll clear itself out a bit more. And if it does, the radiator fluid will drop down. If it doesn't, spot on. Okay, time to check the radiator. Still be a little bit warm, I think, but we'll find out. Didn't take it much for a run. It's just enough to kind of hopefully burp it. Look at that. That is just about spot on, guys. You ripper. So there's no air in the line. That's good. Now I can just put this front part back on and close it all up. Hi, right, guys. That's the bike done. That's serviced. Everything's good. So this next episode is going to be quad fishing. Don't know where I'm going to go. I'll pick out somewhere, load it in the back of the car, and off we go. I'll pick a spot, unload it, and take off in the quad and go fishing. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Just pulled up. See in the background there, I got Silver Dog there and Blue Dog in the back of it. Now, we're in no boat today. We're quad fishing. Pulled up in whoop whoop. It's just all marsh, flat country with creeks and everything running through it. Everything's all slowly drying out from the last time I was here, but I was in a totally different section. Today we're going to go and have a look at Mulgu Billabong, uh, bird wildlife sanctuary. People come from all over the world to actually see this place to go for the birds or birding. Um, yeah, it is, it's pretty amazing. There's so much to see, but we'll get Blue Dog off, Silver Dog, get ready, and we'll go exploring. There's tracks going like everywhere through here. It's like a maze. So people come through here, especially locals and all that, cut across the paddocks when it's all dry and you'll just have tracks just going everywhere. Let's get some stuff ready, come along and let's go exploring and hopefully catch a fish. Let's unload Blue Dog. Silver dog, we'll see you later on. Let's go. Okay. There's one big billabong just in here. I wanted to fly the drone here, but I'm worried with these birds, there's so many, they might attack the drone. We'll see what happens. So here we are, guys. Mulgu Billabong. Okay, let's get the drone up. I'm gonna straight up first, I think, and have a look. It's from above, because I don't want to get into the birds. Look at that, guys, unreal. 
So there's the shelter where people go do their birding. There's actually seats in there as well. You can sit down with your binos and you can look at all the different types of birds. Okay, we've just pulled up to the, uh, the bird lookout. Little walk path and everything through here. But I'll show you the signs in that here as well, so you get a fair idea of what's actually around here. Obviously, number one, the big crocodile. And that's a real photo of him too. Look how fat he is. So there's two species of crocodiles here. We've got the saltwater and the freshwater crocodiles. So the freshwater crocodiles, as you can see, they've actually got a big, long snout on them just there, where the saltwater crocodiles they just have a round, stumpy nose and a shorter mouth and just a lot more aggressive. We'll just walk up through here. Here's a view. A few different types of species of birds, or hawks, eagles. It's actually quite pleasant here. She's silted up. Have a look at this. A lot of weed. Definitely be barrow, isn't he? Tarpon, catfish, just out in the middle. Then there's a few flicks. I think they're um, tarpon or bony herring. Hey, there's a couple of people here at the moment, all the way from Queensland. Have a look at this. We've just parked up. I've seen a nice smooth patch in the uh, side of the bank here. That is a bloody big croc track. That's a massive croc. I reckon he's actually gone up this way, over to the right hand side up that way. And that leads up to Mulga Billabong and where we were. And um, where there's deeper water, where these little pools are just dry out. She's corrugated, wow. Oh, bloody cattle rats. Check this out, guys. Stop here for a sec. Let's let the bike run. She's pretty hot. Gee, check out the guitar. Someone had a bad day, must have fell out. That's pretty cool. In the middle of whoop whoop. We're in the thick of it now. I know the old river's just here. We just gotta try and get to it. <laughs> oh, we'll disturb them. Sorry, mate. I can see the old river on the other side. Geez, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to have to go over this tree. This footage is going to turn out <laughs> pretty bloody rough. Come on, give us a clearing. Here we go. Have I made it? <laughs> you little ripper. The Ord River. What part on the river? No idea. Good that guys. The Ord River. The mighty Ord. So I've worked out where I am. Got a rough idea. Pretty hard to explain to you. Unreal how dirty it is. Just such big tides. But there is a bit of a snag there, so we'll have a flick on that. 
we'll just see how we go. But I know, I think people camp up this side here on the right hand side, all the way along there. This sandbar comes right out, almost, yeah, I reckon this afternoon that'll actually nearly come right across there. It's the adventure. Come along. Let's see if we can catch a dirty water barrel Monday. <laughs> I've tied a lure on the Jack's Snacks Scat. Oh, that's a tongue twister. But we know it works on the yard. We've been here before, used the lure. Um, not this particular spot, but we've caught a barrel on the Yord River with this. Let's give it a crack. This is all different, not coming in a boat up this way. Just walk up to this bank really slowly. Oh, don't think I want to get too close to that. That's for sure. Jeez. Oh yeah, you can see the, uh, where it's cracking, right there. This looks interesting. It's actually uh, trapped water in here. Yeah, cool. There's a better hole just up here. Surely there's got to be a little bar in here. Well, time just slipped away really fast. What a bugger. Before I knew it, it's five o'clock in the afternoon. I've got to get back to my car, load up the quad, and drive home before it gets dark. Oh well, we'll come out for a full day tomorrow, guys. Five o'clock in the morning, and we'll try our luck then. Day two, the adventure begins again. Geez, time went so fast yesterday. I actually nearly got caught out. I come back quite late and um, had to load the car up and everything. So yeah, it just flew by. It was unreal. Okay guys, day two, let's get out of here. Hey guys, what's going on? Jeez, wouldn't those red bones be nice? <laughs> How good is this? Woohoo! Unreal. Oh, it's a clock down here, guys. Let's have a look at this. Ho oh, oh. ho. It's not quite where I want to be. I'm trying to figure out how to get there. Jesus, tide's low. Bloody beautiful. The mighty Ord River. I can tell you guys, the true heart of the East Kimberleys is Wyndham. Absolutely stunning. Where I'm trying to get to is not here. I need to go back over to the left a bit more and try and get there. Just before, I was just around this corner, just over here. What I'm gonna do is put the drone up, see if I can find this creek. I think it's just here. And then we'll start having a fish. <laughs> it's clean water, unreal. <laughs> the mighty old river, unreal. See what's happening here. Oh, I'm right next to this creek. If you watch my previous episodes, you know I've actually tied the boat up in there and flicked. So I've come from all the way from Wyndham by a boat. It's a lot longer than actually coming here by car, jumping on a quad, going through the bush and exploring. That is unbelievable. So I'm right here. This is where I want to be. Let's move in a little bit closer. Just have a look. This dark shadow up on top of the middle of the screen. Is this a crocodile? Yes, it is. It is a crocodile. I think it's around about the two to three meters mark. Oh, there it goes under the water. It's moving over towards something. Hang on. Oh, there's a big male up on the bank as well. She's swimming towards him. He's moving over towards her now. Are they gonna have a fight? No. Nah. I think they're just checking each other out. 
Maybe there's love in the eyes. That'd be pretty wild to see. We're checking each other out for sure. We're just kind of feeling each other out to see what's going on. I don't know if they're gonna have a fight or what's going on. Jeez, he's reared up a bit. Oh, he's a big croc too. Oh, he's giving a bit of a back rub with his mouth. Put your head on top of her, on the back. He's just climbed over the top of her. Oh, guys, I think these guys are just about to mate. He's pushing her up towards a bank. She's just blowing a big breath of air. Wow. He's pushed her right up against the bank. It looks like he's got her by the mouth, but I don't think he has. I think he's just using his head, pushing her up against the bank with all that weight on him. And he's just like laying up in the mud, pushing her down. Surely she's got to freak out soon. She's got to back out of there, try and get out. Here she goes, she's kicking the tail. Oh, yeah, she's not liking it. She's moving back. Here we go. Well, I think she's just gotten free now. He's moving over a bit as well. That is just insane. He's blowing bubbles. This is, I have read something about this. They have this thing where they blow bubbles at each other, get each other's interests, and then they actually mate. No way, are we gonna see a real wild saltwater crocodile mate? Yeah, she's just popped her head up. He's excited. That is unreal. See the bubbles he's blowing out of his mouth now? That is just wild. He's just laying there. I don't know if he's laying on top of her again. He's still blowing bubbles. Here we go. I think this is it, guys. I think they're going down and they're gonna mate. She's blowing bubbles there. She's just popped up. Wow, she's kicked around, she's turning in towards him. This is just insane. Here we go, he's on top of her now. See the tail up against the bank. So now I dare say they're actually mating. It is just pretty wild to see. Yes, for sure, 100% sure, they're mating. Saltwater crocodiles mating down the wild. Unbelievable. What a trip. Here they come, they're coming back up. They're all over top of each other, unbelievable. How good is that? Here we go, I think they've done. She's just popped up on the left-hand side next to that snag. So that's it, guys. I think they've just mated. And he's just got off her then. Unreal. Wow. What a special moment. She's just popped up on the right-hand side of his head now. That's it. I think they're done. I reckon from what I've read, they'll actually disappear and go down. Oh, here we go. And then just swim away in their own path and we won't see him again. That is so cool. We've just seen real saltwater wildlife crocodiles, mate. I've never seen that before. Blowing bubbles, that was awesome.
Beautiful. Gotta love the drone footage. It's amazing. Get to see everything what's going on. Work out what direction you're going in. It's just brilliant. Well, I can honestly say the fishing was tough. I've traveled around the place of back and forth and all over the joint, but the countryside is just amazing. Magu Billabong, where the birds were, you know, spotting the crocs. That croc this morning was mating. I thought it was fighting to start with, and I thought, oh, you beauty, here we go. But uh, no, but there's so many crocs here. If you watch this far, much appreciated. Thanks to all the subscribers, shares, the likes. These guys rock. These guys are awesome. Sorry I didn't get one on last week, but uh, yeah, there's some good things coming ahead. There'll be plenty of videos coming. I'll let you on the secret on the next one. It's coming close. It's going to be a ripper. It's arrived. We're going live. <laughs> Jeez, I'm going to bloody uh, crap myself. My bear with us. I've got to put it all together, work out how I'm going to arrange it in the boat and everything. So I've got a couple other things going on at the same time, but we're going live. How good is that? You little ripper. All right, guys, I'm not going to show you the unboxing, but I'll show you how I've wired it up and everything like that to the boat because I want to make it actually like, so I can go from the boat to the car and um, yeah, just mix it up. So either or either, whatever I jump in, I've got Starlink with me everywhere. All right, guys, I'll show you the outcome, how I've set it up a bit later on.